What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor DVDJ and use code YOURBOYBUGS for 10% off a checkout. And yeah man, check them out. What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video, and guys, today... We got some good news. As per usual, man, um, the market, um, market talk. Please, guys, if you were to drop some likes on this video, we could give you guys the best MT method in NBA 2K20, my team. So please, let's get this video to 175 likes, and we will give you guys the best method in my team. I made 100K in 30 minutes. No lie, no joke. I did it last night. I literally, as you can see, my MT was at 286k. I had 130k to start it off, no lie. So I literally, I was on this game for like 25, 30 minutes. I did my bit, my, my stuff, and yeah, it worked out perfectly. I'll show you the method, man, if we get this video to 175 likes. So please smash that like button, drop this up if you're new, and all that good stuff. So uh, yeah, we're going to go over the market today. Some empty methods, some stash cards. We're going to talk about a lot of things in this video and yeah the galaxy opals are starting to rise some cards are starting to rise which is great news for the people that invested um so far i'm seeing good things happening in the auction number one i want to talk about is hakeem is going back up to like around 140 when he was at 100k yesterday we got a lot a lot a lot a lot to talk about about the market and yeah man i think 2k is gonna hold off on content for a little bit but yeah, MJ and Vince Carter has went up a ton. Vince Carter was 210k yesterday. MJ was 370. MJ is around 400 something, and now Vince Carter is going to be around three. So that's really, really good news. Also, man, some diamonds. Um, they're rising. Chris Paul, Chris Paul's rising. Aaron Gordon's rising. So all you people that have been investing and spending your MT. Congrats, bro. Everything is going to go up in price. You just got to be patient. But uh, one thing I'm going to say, if you have Derek Jones, man, his price has went down so much from 60K when I first got him. So, yeah, he's around 20K. He is definitely a hidden Galaxy Opal. So if you don't have that card, bro, you have 20K, go pick him up. He's a demon. Comparing him to my Kristaps, he's actually better. So you really should get him. I have Pink Diamond Kristaps, and he's actually better. So I would definitely pick him up. Now, for all you people that invested in Nash and whatnot, I'm going to show you right now if he's if it's worth it. Is it worth it? Did you make the MT? Personally, I'm not going to lie. I invested some at like 25K, but I also invested some at like 14K. So right now, his price is around... Okay, guys, he rose. He was at freaking 16K yesterday. It looks like he's up to 18. So market is going up slowly. We're going to see more and more progress going upwards, hopefully. If they drop no content, hopefully they drop no content Thursday, and they come out with a spotlight Friday. That will settle the market very well. Now, I have my whole entire team right here. I have so much MT and whatnot. But yeah, right now, man, if you have a ton of diamonds, if you have a whole diamond team, the market is going to start rising. Now, this is why I said don't sell your Galaxy Opals, because, bro, you have to realize, I think these all-star packs are gone. They're gone very soon. Um, let's see when these are gone. I really think it's going to be worth it right when they are gone. So an, a day in 24 hours, a day in 21 hours, I think they actually increased it. So that means it looks like they're going to drop content possibly Thursday. They end Wednesday? Tomorrow's a day, Wednesday. They're going to end Thursday, I believe, or, or, or late Wednesday. So if they do end, they're going to end Wednesday. So if they end Wednesday, wait a second. Today is Tuesday. So they're going to end Thursday. So it looks like they could drop content Thursday. If that happens, man, I don't think it's going to be a market crash. I think everything is going to go back up in price. I'm, so, I'm trying to get Glitch LeBron. I really do think Glitch LeBron is going to go up in price. So if you do have Glitch LeBron and you're kind of eager to sell him, I kind of would wait. His price is, oh, wow, he went up a lot. So he was at 370 last night. He's now at 500K. Oh, wow. Okay, 
So the market is definitely starting to rise. All these people in All Star Moments packs have rose. I'm gonna pop one for you guys. Hopefully we do get LeBron, bro. Like, oh my God, imagine uh, a ruby. Thank you, 2K, for the ruby. That is such an L. Um, alrighty. So, man, um, I found the best MT method last night. I made a hundred thousand MT in minutes, and I will show it to you guys. And we hit those light goals, bro. This method. Ne deserves credit man like this method i'm gonna show you deserves like you guys need to smash that like button for this method this method is so damn good and it's so good on market crashes um i'm going to show you just please make sure to smash the like button we deserve a like button this method is absolutely legendary um but yeah right now man for all you that invested in nash's chauncey billups they're starting to rise the market is definitely going up it's definitely heading in the right direction the way we want to see it the ovals are up pretty much 100k each. A lot of things are up a lot. So LeBron, all these flash packs, like these packs, when they're gone, you're going to see every single card in this set rise. If you stacked up on Shaqs because you don't have that much MT, you're going to end up taking a W. I honestly, I think I have a couple Shaqs that I could sell. I don't know what he's going for, but I'm going to show you right now. Um, honestly, this is probably your last chance to stock up on cards, man. Honestly, Shaqs around really cheap bro he's an amethyst and he's got a comparable to the pink diamond um with his 10 hall of fame badges 16 gold bro he's literally somewhat comparable to the pink diamond i have versed him and he's actually really really good he's really really good i'm actually gonna pick that up for 2200 so uh yeah man Derek jones if you want to get Derek jones miles bridges i definitely would they're hitting galaxy opals for the low if you drop 35k on them that is such a w and not only that, I think their price will rise. Even though they are in packs for a really long time, you have to realize that these cards are that good. I think they're going to rise, personally. Derek Jones is at 24K now. I think he's at like 27. He's above 27K. So we're already seeing progress of the rise, bro. These cards are going to rise. No one's really going to play this game, I feel. After those Opal packs, people spam the game so hard. This card is went up to 30K yesterday. I sold them for around 26. This card has rose 4K already. So, man, we are going to see the market rise. I really hope it happens the next couple days. But, yo, for all you guys that invested, congrats. You're going to make your MT. Oh, uh, give me that. Oh, man, I was slow. Um, Wow. So, yeah, this card, if you want to snipe this card, as well as the Miles Bridges, I would recommend. These cards are flowing in the auction like crazy. This is my number one snipe tip, bro. I sniped out at least... I would say 30 of these yesterday in about 45 minutes. So this is one MT method to you guys. Snipe these cards out. They're super, super, super really good to really, really good to snipe. So they, they flow like crazy. And yesterday Miles Bridges was going for around 14-ish K. And now it looks like he's actually that cheap. So I mean he's actually that expensive. So yeah, man. He's around 18k, which is insane, bro. This card has went up so much. He's around 19K now. He was at 14K yesterday. If you got a ton of him, bro, investments, you're dubbing out. All your investments are starting to prove itself. And we're going to make a lot of MT together. Also, man, I can't believe how crazy the market is right now. Like, I'm so hyped to see it go up. The Levine set, also, if you guys have cards in this Levine set, man, he's actually that good. Like, I know there's a lot of better cards. But he's actually that good. I don't care about the defense. He's that good on offense. I'm not even kidding. I have a stacked team, and I honestly want to start him. Every time I verse him, he's that good. Spencer Dinwiddie's up to 80K. I'm selling mine right now. Like, literally, I'm putting him up for 70K. I'll put him up for 60-something K. If he sells, I got him for 30K. So, now I actually got him for 25K. So, if I do sell him for 60K... How much profit is that, bro? If you want to stay on the moments of the five set, I would recommend it. Like straight up, moments of the week five. If you want to snipe out on this filter, I really recommend it. That's another MT met that I give you. Uh, I sniped out Evan Fournier the other day. I sold him for 12K in minutes. He did drop back down, but he's actually, like this, this method is so good. What you want to do though, you want to buy the Donovan Mitchell and hold it enabled because the Donovan Mitchell does F up the filter. So if you don't have a lot of cards in the collection, I would recommend putting all... If you have some cards in the collection or you have it locked, it's going to be hard to do it because then you can enable it out. But if you don't have the collection locked, buy Donovan Mitchell and then press enable. 
Um, it's really good method. I made a ton of empty off it, and yeah, guys, that's really all I got. Market is rising. I'm hyped. Hope you guys are hyped too. Have a good one, guys. Peace.